welcome to the Coach's Corner. I'm Joe Wan, but joined now with uh, 24th ranked football head coach, Ed Hoddle. Uh, How are we doing? Good. Um, thanks for joining us today. And you guys go up to Albright, overcome a little bit of a slow start, beat a quality team in some tough conditions. Can you talk a little bit about that game? Um, you know, the 10-30 kickoff was certainly something that was a little bit different for us, um, obviously, but I think it was different for them as well. Um, it was hot. You know, long, longer trip than what it normally would have been to, mm -hmm. to head up to Reading. So, a um, little bit of adversity. Uh, you know, slow start. You know, how much of that affected us in the first quarter? You know, I don't know how how much of, of that slow start was nerves. Mm -hmm. You know, in a big spot early in the year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but that's not that's not an excuse. We've got to be able to come out. Um, and execute offensively, execute defensively, and, and be great in the kicking game, regardless of the weather, regardless of the trip, and regardless of kickoff time. And you guys were able to do that. You came out in the second half, scored 21 points in the third quarter, and then were able to stave them off in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, were you happy with the defensive effort in the second half? Yeah, we, we did a nice job in the second half. I think we can tackle better. We've addressed that this week. Uh, at, at times, I think we, you know, let our eyes drop and and, and, it, and our tackling technique suffered a little bit. So we've certainly addressed that and talked about that at length with our guys um, throughout the week of practice. Um, you know, I, I think they did a nice job bringing fresh legs in late. Uh, in the quarterback change, which I think affected the game a little mm -hmm. bit, um, you know, I don't, I don't think that we were so much on on cruise control. And I've been asked that question a mm -hmm. little bit. You know, I, I think they did a great job, but again, we cannot allow that to affect how we perform. So again, something that we talked about, uh, one of our goals for the season is to finish everything. And I'm not sure that we finished that game as well as we possibly could. So again, something that we've addressed with the guys, and the guys are embracing that at this point. And your effort was recognized this week. You guys earned your first ever national ranking at 24. What does that do for the team? Does it breed a little bit of confidence? Does it make you feel like maybe you got a target on your back? Teams want to upset you coming into the rest of the, the season? I think it's more of a target. You know, over the course of building our program, you know, that was something that we always looked at and said, hey, this is our chance to go, you know, beat a top 25 team. So while it's nice to be recognized and it certainly is exciting, you know, from particularly from a personal perspective, having been here since the beginning and, and to get that early season recognition, there's one ranking that, that, that's most important to us, and that's the one that happens in December. And it is early in the season. You finish out September, uh, next two home games, you know, playing at home, Lebanon Valley and FDU. Um, what do you expect? What do you want to see out of these next two home games for you? Our goals are really simple, to continue to improve, you know, our quality of play. Um, We've got to get the running game going a little bit earlier. Um, you know, I think our offensive line is starting to settle down a little bit. We're starting to find some consistency in the run game. Um, we'd like to see Dan, you, you know, start fast. Mm -hmm. um, where he, you know, he started fast in week one, a little bit slower last week. So, you know, we're looking to him to find some consistency. Um, defensively, we've got to ratchet up our, our, our tackling technique. We've got to clean some things up coverage-wise, um, and just continue to 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 work to achieve the level of play that we know that we're capable of. You know, for us, again, it, it's a very inward focus. Um, what do we need to do as a program to improve? And, and we sit down every Sunday and we evaluate not only our players, but we evaluate our schemes. Are we putting our players in positions to have success? Uh, we evaluate how we practice. We evaluate, you know, really evaluate ourselves as well. You know, are we doing everything we can to be in a position to be successful on Saturday. And I think we've identified some areas where, where we can get better. Um, and, and the team has embraced it, the program is embracing it, and the focus you know, has to remain on us and, and, and you know, an inward look to improving over the next couple of weeks. And hopefully that continued inward look breeds a, more success on the, on the football field that you guys have had um, with the home game on uh, Saturday and then next Saturday as well. Uh, so good luck to you, Coach, in those next two Thank games. Thank you. Uh, he's Ed Hoddle, 24th-ranked football team. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Coach's Corner.